Hebrews 11, 8 says, By faith Abraham, when called to go to a place, he would later receive as the inheritance, obeyed, and went even though he did not know where he was going. And verse 11 says, By faith Abraham, even though he was past age, and Sarah herself was barren, was enabled to become a father because he considered him faithful who had made the promise. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, speak to us, Lord. As we continue to study your word, speak to us. Make us hear you even in our own times through the story of Abraham and Sarah. In Jesus' name, amen. We conclude this week by looking at this subtopic, God looks for our faith. One of the most important characteristics of Abraham and Sarah's life was faith. They both received honorable mention in the book of Hebrews, uh, chapter 11, a passage that showcases people for their faithfulness to God. We are told that by faith Abraham obeyed God when he was called to leave home and go to another land that God would give him. He went forward without knowing where he was going. Abraham confidently, beyond what he saw, he went on to look to what God had sent him out to do. In the same chapter, we are told that by faith, Sarah followed her husband into an unknown places. She accepted her husband's earthly authority and her heavenly father's ultimate authority. Sarah believed God would keep his promise to them, even though she didn't know how. They both believed in God and a multitude of people followed in their footsteps. Too many to count, like the stars in the sky and sand on the seashore, as we are told in verse 12 of Hebrews chapter 11. Did Abraham and Sarah make mistakes in their lives? Yes, they did. But they learned from them and held on tight to the hand of God through it all. They learned and they grew in wisdom as they walked this earth, this earth, all the while knowing that they weren't home yet. They looked forward to the fulfillment of God's promises and their heavenly home. Above else, God looks for my faith, God looks for your faith. We can't control the results of what is going to happen but we can control what we believe in our attitude. We can be faithful while God works out the many details in our times. No matter how good life seems to you, or no matter how life seems bad, it seems in a moment, this isn't the end. Keep pressing on, keep learning, keep trusting, and one day, you receive abundantly more than this world is able to offer because God is working out for you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.